Hi everyone, Tish here and welcome back to the John Banks Review Channel. Honda has recently announced and revealed their latest SUV to the lineup. This is the Honda ZRV that we have here at John Banks ready to be test drove. But you may be wondering, where does the ZRV sit in the current lineup of Honda SUVs size wise? Well, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Honda ZRV, but also the slightly smaller but incredibly clever HRV and also the largest CRV. In today's video, I'm going to give you all the dimensions for the external space interior space and also boot space to show you exactly where the ZRV fits into the lineup. So if that sounds good, then please keep watching. And if you do like new car content like this, then hit the subscribe button and join the John Banks review channel. And if at any point you wanted to book a test drive, or if you wanted to come and see them for yourself, then you can do that by clicking the link down below and chatting to one of our sales associates. The most compact of the three models, the HRV, has a width of 1.86 metres, a length of 4.34 metres, and a height of 158. The new, larger ZRV sits on the same platform as the Honda Civic, but is actually marginally narrower than the HRV at 1.84 metres. However, it is both a few centimetres longer at 4.56 and taller at 162. The largest model of the three, the CRV, is bigger than both cars all round, including a width of 1.93 metres, around 10 centimetres more than the HRV. It's only slightly longer than the ZRV at 4.6 metres and taller, measuring in at 1.68. All Honda models across the range include really high quality materials and also a decent level of storage. Inside the smallest HRV, you still get great storage solutions, including some wireless charging up the front in front of the gear selector. You've got two cup holders in the center console and a good sized armrest storage as well. You also get storage in your door cards and a decent sized glove box for storing book packs and other items out of sight. There's also an additional amount of hidden storage just above the centre console, which is big enough to pop a mobile phone. The front of the ZRV does feel slightly more spacious and you still get the same clever storage systems. Once again, you've got wireless charging at the front with two cup holders behind the wireless charging. Rather than having a hidden shelf out the way, you actually have storage underneath the centre console this time, but you still have a large amount of arm rest storage. There's still a decent sized glove box and you also get plenty of space in the door cards. But in the ZRV on the ceiling, you also get some sunglass storage. The CRV, being the biggest and the widest of the three cars, has the most amount of space up front as well. You also have additional clever little storage solutions. So you've got the similar space to be able to pop your mobile phone. You get the similar two cup holders behind the storage space and you also get the storage inside of the armrest. But you get this additional removable storage section or you can also place that back in place and pop items like your mobile phone on top. The door cards are once again slightly larger and will fit a bit more in than in the other two cards, but you have a similar sized glove box. You also get the glasses storage that you get in the ZRV, but it also doubles up as a rear interior mirror to be able to see into the back seats. The most compact of the three cars, the HRV, can still manage up to 319 litres of boot space. There's also some additional storage underneath the boot floor where you can store handbags out of sight and you do have a load lip but it is very minimal. You also get a handy lightweight parcel shelf which can be removed very easily. And because of the way that Honda set up their seats, that means that by dropping down the rear seats 
you get a completely flat load area. You also have handy little things in the boots, like little hooks for your luggage. Opting for the slightly larger ZRV brings you some additional boot storage, up to 380 litres. It's also slightly more practical than you'll find in the HRV. You've got a slightly lower boot floor and it sits completely flush. You still have the tether hooks at the back, but you now have little pull-out hooks for your shopping and also a 12 volt storage plus some storage nets on the side to keep your items from rolling around. The parcel shelf is also very clever so it's now in a more structured design and it simply slides out and you can actually use this parcel shelf to separate the boot floor. You've still got some underfloor boot storage, but if you slot that into place, it then separates the boot. You can also put in the parcel shelf and that will create a divided section. If you wanted to hide away the parcel shelf altogether, you can simply bring down the boot floor and it sits completely flush. Now, similar to the HRV, you do still have to use the sections on top of the seats and they split in a 60-40 split. Once these are down, you get a completely flush boot area all the way past the rear seats. Opting for either the Sport or Advanced model will also bring a handy electric boot. The largest of the three, the CRV, gets a whopping 497 litres of space. And as you can see, you've got a really wide opening, so you'll be able to fit push chairs, tons of suitcases. And once again, like the ZRV, it also gets a completely flush, quite low boot floor. So lifting items in will be simple. There's not as much storage underneath the boot floor because you do have your items for changing your tire. You do, however, get a retractable parcel shelf this time around. And rather than having to lean over to put the seats down, you actually have levers this time around, which will drop the rear seats. Just like the rest of the cars in the range, once those rear seats are dropped down, you've once again got a completely flush load area all the way through to the rear of the car. You also get your tether points and your 12 volt charger. The HRV may be the most compact of the three, but still it's really accommodating in the rear seats. You could happily sit two six foot people back here side by side. However, the middle seat is slightly narrow and it's also slightly raised. So you possibly wouldn't want to sit three adults side by side, but three children would be fine. It also has quite a few amenities. You've got cup holders in the doors as well as a pull out armrest with a couple more cup holders. You've got two USB charging points as well as a little bit of storage. You've got nice door pockets and even a section in the door pockets to store your mobile phone. But the HRV actually has a magic weapon and that's the fact that it's fitted with magic seats. So just like the Honda Jazz, you can actually completely lift up this rear bench and then in doing so you have another huge load area. In fact, this load area is perfect for wheelchair users. Stepping into the back of the ZRV and you can instantly feel an increase in size. I've got more legroom and I've also got more headroom. There also feels to be more space between the seats as well. As I mentioned with the HRV, you can't necessarily sit three adults side by side because of the centre bench being a little bit higher. But in the ZRV, it's completely flat all the way along. So sitting three adults side by side shouldn't be a trouble at all. Amenities is still very good. There's still somewhere to store a bottle in the door cards. 
You also have storage pockets in the seats and this time you've got two USB-C ports. So these are the new charge ports because this is the latest model. You also still get a pull-out armrest with two cup holders. If you're looking to carry adults often, then the CRV is going to be your best option. There is loads and loads of space back here. Again, I've got tons of headroom and tons of legroom as well. It's also, again, wider than the ZRV and HRV in the back here, which gives you tons of interior space for passengers. Amenities are still very, very good. You've once again got the pull-out armrest with two cup holders. You've got a little bit more storage in the door cards this time around. So there's storage enough for a bottle, but then there's also extra storage in there as well. You still get the USB charge points, but it's quite nice that that they're actually behind little cases in the CRV. Again, you get the door pockets for storing items and in here it's full leather. So it once again feels a slight step up from the rest of the range. We really hope that's been helpful to understand how the ZRV sits into the current Honda SUV range. If you did have any more questions or queries about the ZRV, the HRV or the CRV or anything else in the Honda range, then you can get in contact with one of our sales associates via the link down below. Plus, if you wanted to see more videos like this, then please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Until next time, bye.